Dear friends, welcome to Learning Abode. In this video, we are going to see the details regarding the Associate Software Engineer hiring for Accenture and this is for the 2021 batch. So when uh, we recently uploaded the TCS Ninja 2022, so many 2021 batch uh, people were asking for if there is any opening for uh, this uh, uh, 2021 batch. So now we have this uh, opening for the 2021 batch and uh, please apply immediately because we do not know the last date that has not been mentioned so those who are eligible please do apply for this immediately so this is associate Sof software engineer at Accenture it is an entry level uh, job and the salary uh, though they have not exactly mentioned the salary usually they pay about 3.6 lakhs per annum for this particular uh, entry as I said important dates we don't have the registration end date so apply immediately uh, so test communication you will get uh, uh, through uh, mail and uh, so the all the further communications so, so no date has been mentioned so just apply immediately and uh, follow up and as far as the elig eligibility criteria is concerned education b btech any stream and mca and uh, this is for 2021 passed out and uh, only full-time courses will be considered and as far as the percentage is concerned, aggregate 65 percentage or 6.5 CGPA during the application process. That is still uh, six semester for BE BTEC and second semester for MCA and across all semesters at the time of onboarding. So by the time you appear for the, uh, I mean you, you, you are about to join the uh, company, you should have 65 percent. So as of now, if suppose the exams, the final semester exams have not uh, happened, so they'll be considering up to the sixth semester for the BEB tech and second semester for MCA. But by the time of joining, the complete results should be ready with you. And as far as areas are concerned, no active backlogs uh, both during uh, the application. Okay, so that is at present, both during the application as well as onboarding, you should not have any uh, active uh, backlogs. So maximum of one year gap in education is permitted and year of passing as I mentioned uh, first it is for the 2021 batch only and uh, they have given other criteria so the candidate should not have appeared for Accenture uh, in the last uh, six months and should be an Indian citizen or uh, and like Bhutan and Nepal nationals uh, they should have the uh, work in India permit and all that. So as far as the selection process is concerned, uh, online test, it will be uh, from the remote location. That is, you can appear from the uh, your uh, home at the comfort of your uh, home, but you can appear only in desktop and uh, desktop or a laptop. You cannot use your mobile phones. Okay. And they are also given clear uh, system requirements also. Right. So it's so you can take it from home, but only in desktop or uh, uh, laptop. So assessment as well as the selection process is concerned, first uh, you have a cognitive and technical assessment. So this this part alone totally 90 minutes and uh, 50 questions uh, for the cognitive assessment where it is uh, you'll be tested in English ability, analytical reasoning and numerical ability. And uh, in technical assessment, uh, you will have 40 questions, uh, common application and MS office, pseudo code and the fundamentals of networking, security and cloud. So you'll be tested in these areas. In this, you will find videos related to analytical reasoning and numerical ability in our uh, channel learning about. You can make use of it. And as far as the coding assessment is uh, uh, concerned, this is the second part. Okay, so this is uh, for 45 uh, minutes. So you will have a, a gap of about you know like five to uh, ten minutes. For once the uh, first assessment is over, you will have a gap of uh, five to ten minutes. Then uh, you will be given you know like uh, uh, a go ahead okay and the, as far as the timing is concerned you can choose the t slot timing like whether it is in the morning afternoon or evening like that you know there are uh, three sessions uh, you can choose uh, the uh, time okay so coding that will be for like 45 uh, minutes you will get two questions which must be solved using any one of the following languages that is c c plus plus dot net uh, java or uh, python so that is the option that is uh, given to you right now please remember that you are required to meet the section and the subsection cutoff in the assessment 
okay only then you will be considered for the further uh, round okay and only if you qualify the first assessment okay only if you qualify the assessment one you will be uh, allowed for this second assessment then after that there is a third assessment the communication assessment that will be for a duration of uh, 30 minutes and uh, so you will uh, now this you will receive a separate email with timelines and login details to uh, participate in this this assessment okay and uh, so this will be assessing basic parameters like sentence mastery vocabulary fluency and pronunciation so this will be a, a separate assessment now after this uh, of course you will have uh, the uh, interview uh, round also at a later uh, time now they have given certain job descriptions you can pause the video to look at the details so these are like the general uh, uh, instructions uh, that is given in like most companies you can pause the video to uh, look at the details so this is also uh, given okay so these are like regular uh, things now in addition to this they have mentioned that preference will be given okay for this that is basic understanding on on abap development on hana cds amdp performance analysis experience or knowledge in configuration customization of salesforce.com applications knowledge and development experience of dotnet so this is for preference will be given for these candidates and how to apply link to apply is given in the description below you can click on that but before you uh, go further and apply uh, please uh, complete the video you have to enter your name date of birth gender email id mobile number university registration number and then pan card is mandatory without pan card you you can't apply so if you don't have a pan card uh, i guess you can apply for the pan card online with immediately within a day you will get it even like within a uh, uh, day so you can apply for that if you don't have it already but please remember the sh the duration is very short to apply so just do it uh, as quickly as possible and then you have to enter your academic uh, details your certification now the certification that you are going to ap apply should be related to the skill that you have entered okay so in your resume you will be adding your skills right so the certification should be related to that that is also specifically mentioned by the accenture people and then you will be asked for pref three preferred job job locations and you have to upload your uh, resume cv the format is given and also you have to upload your passport size photograph and college id card also you have to upload for that also the specification size is given then of course government id card again they ask so that there again they ask for the pan card you have to upload the pan card so as far as the preferred job location is concerned they have given bangalore chennai hyderabad kolkata pune and uh, uh, mumbai uh, and of course uh, uh, gurugram so these are the preferred uh, locations so i hope uh, this video was useful to you if you have any questions please do ask your questions in the comment section below and uh, those who are eligible please do apply immediately do not uh, you know like uh, waste any further uh, time on this and uh, if you uh, found this video useful share it with your friends and click on that like button and if you are not already subscribed to our channel please do subscribe and thanks for watching the video have a great day.